It's Vlogmas Day 21, and it's the winter solstice. Happy winter solstice, everybody. Uh, today is one of my favorite days of the year. I love the solstice. I'm working a little bit right now on my night shift shawl. I'm almost done with it. I'm, I'm on the last section, and I'm so ready to be done with this thing. I have loved working on it. I love the shawl, but I'm kind of ready for it to be done. I'm kind of overworking on it, so I don't have that much left to do. I'm in this last section here where there's a lot of greens happening, and I just loved working on this. I love the way it's worked up, and I can't wait to be done with it. I can't wait. I totally caught this spider. I'm usually a let spiders be kind of person. I, I'm okay with spiders in the house, but I saw this one like a week ago and it runs really fast and it, something about it just looked really sinister. And so I tried to catch it, but it ran away too fast and I couldn't get it. And I just saw him again right now and I ran and got a cup and I caught him. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to go put him outside now. I don't know what this is, but he looks crazy like, I don't know. This is not like our normal spiders. This one looks dangerous. And like, Lucy plays on the floor and stuff. So, you know. Let's go put him outside. Sorry, spider. Your days of raining over my living room are over. Ba -ba. I'm a catch and release kind of person. Definitely not a bug killer. So you guys, I got the loveliest package in the mail the other day. My friend Jess sent me the most amazing package. She messaged me a little while ago asking me if I wanted some buttons that her and her dad made. Now they made these out of antlers. Aren't they amazing? So she sent me a little baggie full of these beautiful buttons. I'm just so in love with these. And she also sent me some yarn and a bag and some other goodies. And I'm just so floored by this. It, look at this. So she sent me this bag by Uprooted Fibers. And it's a ball sack. <laughs> so here's the lining. And the idea behind it is that you snap it shut with these snaps. There's three snaps here, so you can have two balls of yarn in here and have the yarn come out from in between the snaps so that the balls don't get tangled. And I just love this so much. It's so crazy pretty. I love these colors. And she also sent me a skein of June bug fibers in this really beautiful fuchsia purple. And that is not all. This mini skein set from Woolberry Fibers. And I love watching the podcast that the dyer behind Woolberry Fibers puts, up, puts out. And these are just some really gorgeous minis. So these will inevitably end up in either my granny stripe crochet blanket, in my marled mania cardigan, or possibly 
scrappy socks? Is that is that a thing that I could do? I don't know. I've never made scrappy socks, but I've always wanted to. This is just so gorgeous. There were a couple other goodies in here. Thank you so much, Jess. I am like absolutely in love with this stuff. <sighs> So I'm sitting on my bed, staring into my closet, feeding Lucy, which is weird because I never feed her there. And I see this. This weird mesh bag hanging in my closet. And I remember that a long time ago, I decided it would be a really good idea to put all my non-superwash knits in here as a little non-superwash laundry bag. And I had forgotten about it until I just saw it now. And now I'm taking a look at, to see what's inside it. And you know what's inside it? Bam. My Mondom socks. They're back. Also, my Jill Draper Make Stuff socks. And some other socks I forgot I had, which were these hand spun socks. So that's awesome. Yay! Yeah.